How's it going, YouTube? Got a Kaiser today, one of my favorite brands. Man, that's hard to read. We got the Extra Mini Paragon or V3600E1. Made in China. Just like most Kaisers, it uh, comes in the normal box, but now they're including stickers, which is always nice. You got your microfiber cloth and paperwork. And extra hardware, which I wish every knife company would do that. Never know when you're going to need a screw, especially when they're using T6s. Alright, let's get to the knife. Here it is. Very different kind of knife. You got a red and black G10 Damascus or g -mascus. And it's got little milling lines all through it, along with these, so it's more grippy than average. You got a flipper tab for deployment. It's flipped all the way, jumped all the way around, which is nice. You got a stone washed blade, which looks really nice. 3.09 inches of 3V steel. And it's a Tanto, of course. And I don't know if you'd call this a flat grind or not. I'm not really sure what you'd call it. It's very funky. It's a design by RS Knife Works, who made the original one, which is probably about as big as this mat. Then you got your mini, which is 8.6 inches. And then you got the extra mini, which is this, 7.78 inches. This is a White Mountain Knives exclusive, by the way. You can only get it there. $99. I don't think that's too bad of a price at all, especially after discount code. It's 90 bucks. 3B still is not stainless, though. You're going to keep, uh, take care of it, but I've never had a problem with it rusting. Blade stock on this knife is 2.9 millimeters or 0.113. Get back to this handle. Can you see the milling? I think you can. It's very light milling. It almost has a chalky feel. Look at Let's take the Vosti Thunderbird, which I wouldn't say it's slick, but it definitely has no milling lines. You can tell the difference. It's brighter because it's more shiny and saw a slick. This is still a full size knife, but it being extra mini. I can get a full grip on it. It doesn't feel too bad. Let's do a size comparison. The Kaiser Sheepdog. And the Kaiser Escort. That's about the same size as the Sheepdog. And the Escort might be like a hair shorter. They're all, but they're all right in the same area. Vosti Thunderbird. And the Megaron Carex. About the same size as the Megaron and just a slightly shorter than the Thunderbird. This knife weighs in at five ounces. And the handle from here to here, I got 1.75 inches or two inches if you count the flipper tab. I just want to let people know that so when it's in their pocket they'll have some idea and the handle length is 4.75 inches of course you get the liner lock you got pretty good cutout for it easy access you got this weird back spacer that's elevated above the scales And I'll talk more about that in a minute. You got a non-deep carry pocket clip with T6 screws. T6 over here. 
Handle width is 0.51 inches, so pretty average. You can reverse flick this knob as well. And thumb flick it along with the flipper tab. All right, about covered all the specs. Let's talk about my few dislikes of this knife. Other than it totally being not my style, I bought it anyway, just to check it out. There's no sharpening troll really. I mean, there is, but there ain't. Cause I really don't know why they have a thicker part of the blade right here with still an edge on it. It's gonna make it difficult to sharpen and be even. So yeah, I feel I've been yeah been nicer if this went all the way through here, if you know what I'm saying. Of course, Kaiser's still using T6s, and I really don't know why, because even like cheap sin cuts and some EV, they use T8. QB uses T8s. I mean, like, why are we still doing this? Y'all make such great knives, why can't you do everything right? <laughs> And you see this cutout right here? It's really kind of sharp. And I really don't know why it's there. It does absolutely nothing. You can't feel it when it's open. You're not usually going to grab right there, but it is sharp, and I want to point that out. I guess it's some kind of design element. And the back spacer, it's elevated, which it looks kind of cool, I guess. But in hand you can feel that and if you're doing some hardcore cutting that is going to be your hot spot and my last complaint would be this pocket clip i know you can't use deep carry on everything but not only is about this much going to be sticking out of your pocket you're going to have a hard time getting it in your pocket because it's very tight under there. This is a very stiff pocket clip. Probably my least favorite one I've ever seen on a Kaiser. But, other than that, if you like this style of knife, just from the looks, you're going to like it when you get it. You might not like the pocket clip or the backspacer stabbing you, but I'll still give it like a B plus, A minus. Don't know if I'll keep it, but it was definitely worth checking out. So subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.